coolest thing I ever made. Making four-wheeler parts is something that I love to do. I designed and built my own turbocharger jet engine, and I put it on a go-kart, and it worked very well. I made a whole clutch basket for a motorcycle. A copper sprinkler system for the U.S. Navy. It was going on submarines, actually. Machining is taking a raw piece and precisely cutting it to a desired part. We're making something from nothing. Spin in a circle. Everything that you see, a machinist has made in one way or another. Anything that you imagine, you can basically make that. Machining just picked me. That's what I do. I like being hands-on, doing something. I started out learning the precision machine tool technology trade. I ended up starting an internship here, and then I got a full-time job here. And I've continued on to college. I started off going to a trade school in high school and then ended up getting here about six years ago. I learned everything on the job. I have a college degree in mechanical engineering. I didn't like the engineering side and went down the tool room and learned everything just from others' experience and working and learning as I go. In order to be a good machinist, you gotta know your math. You gotta have patience. You can never rush something. We make parts that are quarter inch and under all the way down to 32 thousandths of an inch. You kind of have to like think before you do something and see how it's going to come out in the end. Well there's different things in manufacturing. There's machining, engineering, and actually designing the parts that the machinists make. Sawing, drilling, milling, grinding, welding, we do it all. A lot of manufacturing is coming back so machining, welders, EDM personnel, tool makers, it, that job is going to be in high demand. If you like designing or making things, I would highly recommend it. I'd say don't be afraid to go to Votech. Don't be afraid to go into manufacturing. I think you'll have a lot of fun. <laughs>